it as uh, much as it does others. Uh, I, the Orthodox, by the way, who were the most open-minded of the Jews, uh, Reform Jews would never have me at their convention speak on why I am not liberal. Uh, but Orthodox Jews had me at their convention speak on why I'm not Orthodox, which is astonishing. Why are you not Orthodox? <laughs> <laughs> My son could explain to you, even <laughs> to his great chagrin. <laughs> why am I not? In a nutshell, I believe that the oral law, Judaism is, consists of written law, the Torah law, and oral law, that, which is, you'll find in the Mishnah, which is part of the Talmud. I believe that the, the reason it was kept oral was so that it changes. Uh, I, I can give you 20 examples of laws that you would say, you can't, I can't believe people still observe. I have great respect for people who observe it. They're my ideological allies, for all, for, as it happens. That's where, I, that's where they are. They understand the dangers of secularism. But, but the practices, I'm too rational. Uh, it's a blessing and a curse to be rational. And I, and so you don't believe the law, those particular laws are binding? Right, that's exactly right. I don't believe okay. they're binding. I, I give you one example that none of you, if you're, if you're Christian or if you're not Jewish, know of. The Torah says that you shall observe the Passover for seven days. Seven days you shall eat matzah and, and not eat any leavened food. I observe that. I observe most Torah laws. The Torah laws I don't observe, it's because I'm lazy, not because I don't believe they should be observed. I'm a sinner, but I believe they should be observed. But I observe, uh, of course I observe that, and I, by the way, I don't, and it says on the first and last day you shall do no work, and indeed I take off from work. I don't broadcast, I don't do anything. I, I vegetate and have a great time. Uh, you know, with friends, family, or just my wife. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, but what do the Orthodox do? The Orthodox have added a day, an eighth day, outside of Israel. In Israel, the, ultra, or the Orthodox observe seven days, as the Torah says. Outside of Israel, they've added a day. Why did they add a day? Because they argued in the beginning, we really don't know which day is the holiday, so we'll add a day. But I could give you 20 reasons why that doesn't make any sense, and why do you keep it now that we do know exactly when it is? And there's no double day for, for Yom Kippur. So how did they know they were fasting on the holiest day of the year, Yom Kippur? All I'm saying is this should have changed. It, sh it, it, it's, it doesn't make sense today. I, and I'm told, I, I'm told by Orthodox Jews that I raise this too, because this is my favorite one to raise when, when Orthodox Jews, who really like me, because I'm, I'm the, one of the only voices out there in the, in the public fighting for the Torah. So they know, you know, Prager, he's our idiosyncratic, half-crazed, but good guy. <laughs> they, they know I'm a good guy, and, but they, so like, Dennis, why aren't you from? Why aren't you orthodox? Like, so in, in, I, you want to, I'll give you a, I'll give you a, a, a two-word answer, Yom Tov Shani adding the, an extra day on the holidays. See, here's the killer. God wants us to observe seven days for Passover because Passover is a recreation of the world. Seven is important. When they add an eighth day, it kills the Torah's meaning. So it's not that I, I'm lazy and don't want to do an eighth day. It's that I think they're wrong. It's not comfort. It's ideological opposition. And by the way, a very prominent Orthodox Jew, very young, and I won't say his name because I don't think that he'd want this known, but I'll ask him if I can. He said, Dennis, and he's very strict in observance. We went out for lunch and all he had was salad. He wouldn't eat off, you know, hot food off a, off a non-kosher dish. And uh, he, he said, I said, Dennis, I agree with you in everything you say about Orthodoxy. I'm orthodox because I think it's the only way we're going to keep Judaism alive. Mm -hmm. Let's turn to... Uh